<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have lovely Kelly with me and she is the owner and, I mean, what else can I say? Creator, creator, director, director. creator. I yeah. don't like director. <laughs> yeah. Let's go creator. <laughs> of the barn in <laughs> Somerset. And she's a lady I see for all of my treatments. So I put on my stories a few months back now when I first started my treatment and everyone was asking me so many questions. So I just thought the easiest way to do this would be to get you to give me questions and me come with Kelly and answer them for you because I'm not technical at all with any of this stuff. <laughs> so I just thought it's the easiest way. So, right guys, we forgot to say a couple of things. So, safety of it. The safety with the, so uh, yeah. whilst having treatment, so you can't really be out in the sun. If you've got a tan skin, you need mm -hmm. to be at least four weeks post, but okay. I would judge that. Um, so it just means the machine attracts to the colour in your skin and not the colour in your hair. So there is a risk then that you could burn, like, burn the skin okay. or hyper or hypo. So pigmentated. no sunbeds. No sunbeds anyway. Um, we should I mean, be I using do sunbeds, sunbeds anyway. I don't do sunbeds. I mean, like you know. And then if you're do. using fake tan, you just avoid yeah, the area. Tan. But you could just fake tan like the next day, 24 hours after. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then also, what else do we say? There's four things: the safety of it, yeah. then the the sun, the tan, doing it through the so doing it through the winter. Yeah. Maybe oh, that's yeah. the Same thing. So doing it through the winter is like much be better good. because obviously then you'll be prepared for the summer yeah. and you won't have to worry about going on holiday that yeah. kind of thing. And then yeah. also Kelly has an October offer on. Yes. Yeah, so if you book your course, yeah. then you get fifty percent off the course rather than thirty percent. Fifty percent. Okay. Fifty percent. Oh, that's so much. Fifty <laughs> percent. So okay. So really do good. it now. So it means like underarms is three hundred pound for your course. Okay. Oh my god, yeah. amazing. Okay, I'll put that on my good. story as well, just in case. Yeah. Okay, that's amazing. And then there yeah. was a fourth one. What was the fourth one? Oh come on. We are rubbish. We are this so was bad. two minutes ago. I know. I was um, getting it done and I was like, oh, that was oh, it. I know. So well basically, done. I know it came back. <laughs> so basically, the first session you have is actually the more painful session. Yeah, that's Because it. when the hair disappears, because uh, obviously the heat is attracted to the colour, there's no... If there's no hairs there, You're doing well, then it won't be attracted, so yeah. it will hurt less. Does that make sense? I don't know. You can probably so when say you've it, got like yeah, when you've got a big clump of hair there, so the light is attracted to the hair, mm. then that's what's building up the uh, the heat yeah. and the energy. So if you've got loads of hair there, you're going to be creating lots of heat. Mm -hmm. um, but when you've only got like a few hairs left, then there's Great obviously idea. less heat, yeah. and so it becomes less painful throughout your treatment. So if you can handle the first mm. session, you can, you can handle rest. all of the sessions. I could not feel my armpits just then. No, I done. No, and we went. We went. Uh, oh, that was it. We went stronger as well. Yeah. So each time you come, they might make it a little bit adjust it, adjust it so it's a bit stronger. Mm. But I could hardly feel it down there, and then I couldn't feel it on my armpits at all. So yeah. that means the hairs are gone. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I'll slot this in here, and then we'll carry on with the rest of the video. But. <laughs> Hi guys, let's jump into it and ask basically the main question is how much does it hurt? <laughs> Which is like, I mean, it was literally what I asked first time. Yeah. So I suppose I don't think it's bad. You're a good one to ask them. Okay, I don't. So, yeah. yeah. So I don't think it's that bad. I think. Um, I would say it's less than waxing. Less, yeah. 100%. So if you can, if you can handle waxing, then you can handle a high PL. It's like yeah. a hot flick, but it's like milliseconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and I've never had anyone like stop halfway through treatment. Yeah. Or um, and if you're doing a large area, say like a leg, mm. then I'll do it in sections. Yeah, yeah. That's so, what I was just about to say about you actually. Um, yeah. So I don't know if you guys remember, but I went somewhere else first of all to get it done, and I honestly couldn't deal with their machine it was too much whereas mm. your machine is a little bit more like Kelly does it in sections and you have yeah. a little break so she'll do six little kind of rectangles and then she'll put a cold compress on so you kind of get a breather whereas mm. I found with the other one it looked round and it was like and I'm like oh like stop I know I can't take that so yeah so definitely prefer for me anyway this machine and this way of doing it so lots of machines are different and this one is quite comfortable even though it is very powerful it is quite a comfortable machine yeah yeah we can just have a conversation and I might just go but that's about it I don't swear whereas the other one I was swearing <laughs> like everyone was leaving the like room yeah. outside. So if you can like handle waxing, but yeah, you can definitely handle this. So yeah, because yeah. I had waxing before, and yeah, it's way worse. I think it's because it's you have to with waxing you have to go over the same area, yeah. whereas this you just do the section and. Then and you get the pollen skin, so that's like the sting. Mm. Whereas this is just like a little hot flick, and it, it yeah. disperses. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah, I'd say it's around like if I was thinking out of ten, I'd probably say five to six, depending on like. The area is like really yeah. manageable. If you're by like the bone, the pubic bone, yeah. then yeah, that's when it you can feel it. But mm. any flabby bits or like yeah. you can't feel it at all. Yeah. yeah. So underarms quite comfortable. Underarms. Isn't it? Oh my god. Underarms. Yeah. I'm like I can't even feel it. Yeah. yeah. And even though legs are quite big, 
like a bigger area, mm. then that's quite comfortable as well. There's yeah. just certain areas, like if you have your upper lip done, like this little, like your shin, like yeah, yeah, like the bony bits, or yeah, yeah. like even the knee, mm. or like if you're having your like your upper lip done, like this little bit here is a bit eye watering, but yeah. it's like two shots, yeah, and which is less it. than two seconds, yeah, yeah, so, so it's over, you get yeah. bearable, yeah. So yeah, so I'd say it doesn't. It depends on the machine that like I've put in a clip um, for you guys to see the machine that Kelly uses and I'll write the name of it in the description box below but yeah, um, yeah I prefer this type of machine than like the round ones yeah. so yeah and then someone else has asked is it awkward to do the bikini line or Brazilian and that I, I'm I have no shame so <laughs> I'm just like woo like there you uh, go. I most know, most girls yeah. haven't. So like if you've had a smear, so if you're at that age where you've started having um, smears, then it's, you know, it is pants off treatment. Mm. But remember, I've been you're doing really this looking, for yeah. years and I'm like a nurse yeah. in the sense that we see it all the time and so mm. it's not. Um, it's only you in the treatment room. Yeah. Um, and it's over like 20 minutes yeah, yeah, if you're yeah, doing like that. a Hollywood or Brazilian. If you're just doing a bikini line, you've still got your pants off. Yeah, so yeah. is it all good? No, it's no more awkward than you going to no. see a nurse. Like we do this all the time. Mm. So yeah, and like you cover up before like Kelly comes into the room, and then yeah. she'll just like remove the towel. But yeah, yeah. I I don't think like, fine. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I suppose you've got to put your legs in like little frog positions. But yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, but yeah, you. I think once you've done it once and you know what to expect, yeah, then it's then fine. It's fine but... Especially if you're comfortable with the person who's doing it. Yeah, like we met we'll before. Yeah, I mean obviously I've been coming here for years, but. W we met before the treatment to talk about the treatment, a consultation, we had a patch test, like, and then yeah. when you have the patch test, you kind of get used to the fact that your legs are going to be up and like, yeah. you know, so you yeah. can tell by going for the consultation if you're going to be comfortable or not with that person who's doing it. So yeah, yeah that's a... Yeah, good question though. Yeah, yeah really good question. Good question. Yeah. Um, how to decide what type of laser would be best for you? Okay, so this is more so an IPL. So mm. there's a difference between IPL and lasers, and if you think of it of how it emits the light, a laser like is like a pinpoint. So if you do, I always say if I think of the laser pens, I don't know if they're right now. Yeah, like, yeah, really yeah, I know, my yeah, age. yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Yeah, I'll put like a laser. <laughs> Like a little laser like, yeah. like a pinpoint of light. Yeah. So it's the same when you're using laser. Cap. So if you're wanting yeah, if you're wanting something kind of specific treated, mm -hmm. so maybe more in the skin side of things, mm -hmm. you would use a laser. So IPLs are used for hair removal and then it just delivers a broad spectrum of mm -hmm. light. But also there's lots of different machines out there. Mm -hmm. Um I think you're gonna put up the the company that I use as well. Yeah. But um it's Linton Lasers mm -hmm. and they develop the most some of the most powerful lasers mm -hmm. on the market, but they're also really comfortable as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I say lasers, IPLs, okay, so, yeah, IPLs. It, which okay. stands for intense pulse light. And so basically, it's delivering a pulse of light mm -hmm. rather than a pinpoint of light, which okay, is what yeah, laser is, which, which yeah. makes it very strong. Yeah, which, yeah, yeah. No, great. Yeah. So if That's you were right. treating, yeah, something else, you would rather use laser, but for hair removal, IPL IPLs is best. Yeah. Okay, cool. It also means that you can treat oh, almost up to like an Asian or a darker skin. Okay. Um, yeah, because that's one you of the can't, other yeah, yeah, you can't with yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So, a laser. So um, we'll go on to that question actually. So yeah. can you do it on people with fairer hair, darker hair? Yeah. So yeah. if your hair is lighter than your skin, mm -hmm. then you, uh, it won't work. It won't work. Mm -hmm. It won't work. Um, uh, within consultation, I always look at your hair. So if I don't think it works, I will tell you. Mm -hmm. I won't let you go through treatment yeah, yeah, and you yeah, find out. Like, oh, so yeah. I will know if it works or not for you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, if it's darker than your skin, then it will, it will generally work. work. Oh, That's okay. the general rule. Okay. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. So the, I mean, the darker hair is normally darker. Yeah, it is. And you very yeah. like. And if you're treating like the terminal hair, mm -hmm. so that's the underarm and like the pubic, like pubic mm -hmm. hair, mm -hmm. then yeah, yeah, like, it's better. Amazing. Okay. Yeah. So if you were maybe coming onto like forearm, mm -hmm. then it might be too light. Um, yeah. Or like upper lip again, generally. Just, if yeah. you want to done it's darker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. Um, and then someone asked, how much does it cost? Okay, so it depends where yeah, I was about to say where you have. Mm. So like the cheapest area would be like upper lip, mm -hmm. so that's like forty pound a session. Okay, yeah. um, then going up to like the full leg, which is four hundred and fifty pound a session. Mm -hmm. Now, if you bulk by your um, your course of six, mm -hmm. you always we always start you off with the course of six sessions, mm -hmm. and um, you get thirty percent off. If you, bulk, if you bulk, if you bulk, okay. So yeah, it depends yeah. where you have. So yeah. what you're having, underarm is a hundred pound a session. Mm -hmm. Hollywood is a hundred and sixty five pound mm -hmm. a session. Mm -hmm. It's Hollywood, isn't it? We do it all off. We do it all off. Yeah, yeah. we go all. So that's Hollywood. All hey. off. <laughs> Situations you have oh, no yeah. shows. Like honestly, I'm going on holiday in a couple of weeks. Well, maybe not because Thomas Cook, but we'll see oh, about no. that. I know, literally do 
Yeah. 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 It was like gone bust. I was like, oh, <laughs> got insurance though. Um, but yeah, but it's so nice just to put on like your bikini and not have to think I've got to shave every day. And yeah. especially being dark haired yeah. and Greek, like we are known for being hairy. Yeah. Even though I'm not actually a very hairy Greek, but no, you're you're lucky. Am I quite lucky? Yeah, yeah you're lucky. So, but and I think also the nice thing about it is because it kind of it gets rid of the hair, then you haven't got like the shading or the little just spots. To say that, or it just literally is like yeah. smooth skin because like, you don't see the hair. I'm halfway through and I've got no dark shadows. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, so, yeah, that's good. So that's the nice thing about it, especially if you suffer yeah. from like ingrown hairs and yeah, yeah, there's yeah. no hairs there to ingrow, then they won't ingrow. Yeah, no, so, yeah, totally. oh, that's also, the nice thing. Talking about ingrown hairs, though, yeah. Um, I don't know if it's the same with everyone, yeah. but once I've had the session, yeah, the first little bit of hair that's coming through, yeah, kind of well, sometimes gets caught, and that's I always right. just like scratch it with my nails, yeah, it comes off. Yeah, so like waxing, well. you still need to kind of like exfoliate to let it come through. Okay, yeah. But the hairs that we've killed on the session will take two weeks for them to fall, fall out. Yeah. So they might like just come poke through. through. Yeah, and then and they come out. But then they just fall out. Yeah, because I was gonna say once I did like itch it, and then it just <laughs> shed <laughs> fell out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so next question. How long until you see improvements? Okay, so after your first session, mm -hmm. you, so you've got three different stages of growth. Mm -hmm. Tell me if I'm getting too technical. No, 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 go for it. <laughs> I like technical. So, okay, okay, okay. So there's three different stages of growth. Okay. And then the first stage of growth, that's when it's attached to your blood supply. Okay, okay so when the light um, kind of travels down the hair, it travels down to the root, transforms into heat, mm -hmm. um, transforms into heat, heat energy mm -hmm. and then cauterizes the blood supply that feeds it okay. okay so every single follicle has got a tiny little microscopic blood supply that's mm -hmm. his lifeline yeah and we cut that's it off awesome. on the second and the third stage of growth then it's not attached to the root okay. so you've basically got a one in three chance of catching okay. the hair is that, that why it. you do it every six weeks yeah, okay. to let that cycle go around okay so you normally have like a session you wait six weeks then you have another one so then hopefully you can catch yeah, the hairs at the right. The growth. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, you've got it. You've got yeah, it. Yeah. So, so that might be another question. When? Yeah. How often do you do it? But yeah. generally, if you're treating hormonal hair, so that could be like chin, mm -hmm. um, lip, mm -hmm. like nipple area mm -hmm. as well. For some ladies, so hormonal, it might be quicker. I don't do that. <laughs> Or if you're doing like legs, yeah. is like longer. Okay. You go about eight weeks. Oh, okay, but then yeah. for like underarms and like down yeah, generally legs, about yeah. six weeks. Okay. Yeah, and you've got to let that cycle go again. But, yeah. Um, with the like the power of the machine, you've uh -huh. got virtually like a guaranteed catching it in that first stage. Okay. So, um, you know, you always have hairs in that first stage of growth. Yeah, so yeah. you'll see a difference after your first yeah. one. Yeah. Obviously, it gets better and better as yeah, you go through. Yeah, I was just about through. to say that. So the yeah. first one, I'd say, my, it took two weeks for the hairs to fall out. Yeah. And then after a couple of weeks, I started to see it come through. And then each time I've gone, like, I've got nothing down there at the moment. And yeah. well, I'm halfway through. And yeah. it hasn't grown through after six, seven weeks. So yeah. each yeah. time I'm coming, I'm seeing less and less come through. Yeah, and even the bits yeah. that have come through are very fine. Like, almost like thin, frizzy, little... Yeah, like, they get finer. Not, yeah, really, really fine. Yeah, so the ones that kind of you know get left or they're ready for the you know the mm. next treatment it kind of closes over the follicle so it kind of makes the mm. the the follicle tighter so it makes the hair Has, finer uh, okay yeah, yeah yeah so after your course of six we guarantee sort of between that 75 up to 95 percent permanently um gone mm -hmm. uh some people will go up to like eight sessions so you might need a little couple of top of sessions yeah. after um but you know, it's a big window. Even mm. if you get rid of 75% of your hair growth yeah, in an area, yeah. it's massive. Is it forever yeah. or would it grow back? That was one of the no, questions. Yeah. No, it is, it is forever. Uh -huh. Unless, you know, we have all got dormant follicles all over our body. So basically follicles that are having a little sleep. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, say hormones, you know, might come along. And that's why, us, so yeah, like, yeah. that's why us women, you know, when our hormones go crazy, mm -hmm. whether it's it teenager, pregnancy, mm -hmm. um, whatever then it, it can make hairs grow in the, in the yeah. areas that we yeah. don't want to grow mm -hmm. sometimes as well like yeah. chin, chin upper yeah. lip the nipple yeah. area and um but yeah generally so, speaking generally speaking mm -hmm. that's it you know done Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it's only like six sessions for the rest of your life like, that's you know, it. done and like, I'm, I'm a pussy when it comes to pain so if I can do it like yeah. anyone can do and it and if I had like I always say if I had a pound for everyone that said to me like I wish I'd done this sooner yeah. because it's just done there's yeah. no more you add up the amount of wax that you've done or the amount of like razors mm -hmm. that you buy and it's just done that's what I say and the and money like when you when you, ca when you count all yeah. the money you spend on razors waxing, waxing. like Whatever, and just, and just the stress of it, or like yeah. worrying about, like, oh, can I go swimming today because oh, my yeah. bikini lines all yeah, fall? Yeah, or, yeah. 
you know, it just it stops it. Yeah, and I think like when you spread it over the rest of your life, it's actually probably more yeah. expensive to do that than this. It's like one cost effective. Done, and you just don't think about it. Yeah, after. yeah. And a lot of people say, well, why don't people plastic. do it all the time? And I'm like, yeah, that's it. <laughs> why don't people do this all the time? And I yeah. think the thing is, is that they see it as a more expensive treatment. Yeah. And there's also that worry of like, what if it doesn't work? Mm. Like. I will let you know if I don't think it'll, it'll right. work for you. And I think um, you can probably tell within the first session because if you don't have that initial yeah, reduction, of hair, yeah, exactly, and, and see the reduction when yeah. it goes back through, then obviously that's something you need to pull up yeah. with the person that you're having it with and maybe yeah. like think about yeah. not doing it. Yeah, yeah, no, that is true. But yeah, if you get a good practitioner and you get a strong machine, mm. there's no reason, right, as long as you've had your consultation done right, there's no reason why. Mm. There is a very, very small percentage of people that just sometimes it just doesn't work and you just don't know why mm. but I've only ever had one person in like the years and years that I've doing it but mm. actually when I looked at her growth it looked dark mm. but when I looked at her root she had a red root so uh, you can do a red hair so sorry uh, can you not oh okay sometimes if they were deeper red then maybe, you could yeah. just maybe but like have like. a reduction but I would make them aware of they okay. won't get the results like a dark haired person okay yeah find mm. the best candy dark you are dark thick hair <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, not pale skin, but like paler than white. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how many sessions in total? We've kind of covered that, but six. yeah. So you always start off with six. Okay. Um, and then for the body, like you may go up to eight sessions. So you just have a little top up session. You don't go through another course. You have just like some top up mm -hmm. sessions. And that might be two reasons. One might be that you actually want to get a higher percentage of mm -hmm. hair. So you might have hit eighty percent, but you're like, oh, actually, no, I want to get more. more. Yeah. So it comes down to a personal preference. Mm -hmm. Or just sometimes you just, you know, you need those little, little couple sessions yeah. just to, you know, yeah. give it a little boost. Mm -hmm. So I generally say about six to eight for the body, but up to 12 on the face or hormonal areas. Because okay. oh, okay. hormones make the hair grow very quick mm -hmm. and plus they could be waking up dormant follicles while you're treating it as well. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. someone said, does it burn the skin? Right, so you have got a risk of it being mild burning, blistering, bruising, swelling, yeah. redness. Yeah, in the area, mm -hmm. okay? We try and limit that, mm -hmm. and then a very, very rare, you will burn or hyper or hypo pigmentate mm -hmm. the skin, okay? They're very rare, mm -hmm. but have yeah, to let yeah, you know, yeah, it can know. happen. I mean, for me, I think... Uh, Generally, you go home and you forget about it. Yeah, yeah. I was just about to say that. But the sort of like, the, the side effects that might happen are just, yeah, really mild burning, like redness, bruising, kind of swelling mm -hmm. in the area, heat in the area, redness, mm -hmm. but yeah, we try and minimize mm -hmm. that. I think mm -hmm. once I felt it, just a bit hot, hot after, but maybe for like an hour, and then that's it. Yeah. And then you suggest don't have a hot shower or anything for like 24 hours, just like leave yeah. it well alone, just to do its thing. And then by the next day, you're, you're, yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, I haven't had anything, no yeah. rushes, no yeah, that's uncomfortable. Good. But you people have those things might happen, those little side effects, and very, very rare. Then, yeah, you could get more. Like, and if you did, or what would you put on it? Just cool compress. Just cool compress. Okay. Yeah, just keep it cool yeah. and keep it simple. Yeah. And because I've heard people like, say that when they've gone to sessions, they've been given like a bag full of products to like use, and like I no, I don't use yeah. anything. Yeah. I just keep it well. Yeah. If I'm cool the next day, then I would. Yeah. Yeah. I would just hand over some aloe vera or, but it just yeah, just soothe it. Mm. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Where is can you? So treat? literally everywhere. Anywhere? Yeah. So as long as the hair is darker than the skin, so literally everywhere. So if you want literally your toes, your feet, your legs, your bikini line, your underline, um, like so stomach maybe not area, the face, then. face is normally lighter. So unless it's dark, so generally it's around this area that they grow dark. Or like I have up. treated, yeah, yeah, I have treated um, like Mediterranean or um, Asian ladies that you know will get this darker, kind of thicker growth hair. Mm -hmm. So yes, mm -hmm. um, but just ask. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go and see. But it, literally yeah. everywhere, anywhere. wherever you. Um, a big toe. Arm, <laughs> literally, yeah, big toe. Yeah. How much feet. does that cost? <laughs> <laughs> just the big toe. Yeah. <laughs> just toes. There is toes. Well, I can just do toes, and I've completely forgotten the price. Yeah. Okay, but yeah. um, but you if do. you have like your legs done, then I always do the toes and the feet in it because there's nothing worse than like having yeah, having it. that. It's like when you have a wax. If I do a half leg, I yeah. always wax the foot and the toes because okay, yeah. like, there's nothing worse than having a hairy toe yeah, when you've yeah, got a smooth leg. Not. <laughs> I've cut my toe more times than I cut my leg shaving. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> I, think it's anything else. I think we've covered everything, but... Um, yeah, I feel like we have. Yeah, I mean, I always also safety when having laser, they'll, they'll always give you goggles or they should yeah. do anyway. So yeah, eye protection. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, always we'll have the consultation before and the patch test. Mm -hmm. And then it's seven days after once you can start treatment, but you must come in for a consultation mm -hmm. and patch test. And does the consultation or patch test 
have any price of it? No. No. Okay. No, it's completely free. And you're not, you know, if you don't want to go through the treatment, then you're not going to go absolutely fine. Okay. But you've just got to have that consultation, which yeah. is where you can ask the questions. You'll also have the sensation of the treatment mm. as well. So get used to the feeling. That's okay. like there's just three or four shots that we do on patch test, mm. so you kind of get to experience what it's like, what you're going to feel mm. like it before you jump straight in and mm. have a whole area done. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. It's not like the nicest thing to do in the world, but it's not. No, you're fall asleep. It's not. No, but it's yeah. not bad as the fact yeah. that like I'm dreading coming back. If that makes yeah. sense. Whereas the other one, I was like, oh, <laughs> oh no, please don't. Yeah, like, yeah, don't no, do it. It is really comfortable. Yeah. 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 So yeah, that's I think good. that's pretty much all the questions that have, you guys have asked. If there's any more that we've missed, please let us know um, in the comment section below and I'll just let, I'll fire some texts over to Kelly and she can answer them if I don't know the answers to them. But yeah, cool. let me know if that's okay guys and I'll show you bits of snippets of me getting the treatment done and then you can kind of see like my face and if I'm not flinching then like it's fine. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much Kelly for joining Aww. me on this video and yeah, go Thanks us to her free life. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I like it. See you in my next one. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs> it's the bony bit. Is it? Like that bit. It's a stronger bit there as well. It's all good. Mm -hmm. You're powering through. I'm powering through. <laughs> <laughs>